We are so excited about the, the new accountability system here in Kentucky. Uh, some of the things that we are being um, evaluated on is obviously our proficiency indicators in the area of reading and math, uh, these separate academic indicators with our science, our social studies, and our writing. Uh, but the, probably the biggest indicator that, uh, that really sticks out to me is the growth indicator, the growth indicator for each school. And our goal with growth is to make sure that every kid is showing improvement. Now, how are we going about doing that? Actually, we're, we're charting data on kids. Uh, we are having them look at their data. We're talking to students about their data, about their growth, or where they start, where they're at in the middle of the year, and how they're going to finish. We always talk about finishing strong. We've got a lot of neat initiatives going on in this district. We've got a lot of focus on foundational skills, all the way from our school-based reading centers, uh, working on our sight words with kids, uh, the fluency focus we have in our elementary schools, working on fast facts, taking fast facts tests on our, in our mathematics classes, uh, co-teaching practices going on across the district. You think about um, what we're doing with our MAP scores. You think about what we're doing with our K prep scores. Looking at our ACT cert practice data across the high school levels. We've got a lot of great things going on here in this district. What I want you all to do is think about each individual kid. Each individual kid matters. And once we develop those relationships with those kids and actually listen to what helps them grow, this is going to make us better teachers in the classroom. So at this time, let's go out and let's listen to some of our principals, our students, and our teachers talk about this growth that's happening right here in this district. Um, goal setting is so important because it gives us an opportunity to sit down with students, help them understand what their score truly means, and then discuss with them things that they can do to continue to grow. Um, and it really helps us build relationships with each individual student. We do goal setting here at Meadowview because we really feel like it's beneficial for our students. We feel that they can really see what their strengths and weaknesses are. When we do goal setting, they can have some celebrations, which are really important when we're talking with kids about their growth. In my head, I'm like, okay, now I know what I'm strong at. And then the other things that they tell me that I'm not that strong at, I can work on. Since goal setting, I've tried to do more time on reflex or compass in my lower areas to try to get me up. We think it's important that the students internalize why it is the goal set. As an adult, we know what it is, the goal set, and the purpose behind it. But we know that if we don't give the students the opportunity to take a hold of their education, then they will not see the value. We've seen a big difference in terms of what the students have done. Uh, with goal setting, uh, we think it, it really helps to uh, redirect them and direct them in the, the right direction. Uh, we're very much focused on growth uh, here in New Highland and uh, we feel like when we speak to the students and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them or even a group conversation, uh, that it really helps get them going in the right direction and so that they can uh, help see and achieve their own growth goals as well. It's up to you how you can learn and how much you can go above your goal, how much you can grow in your math. Um, our goal this year was to have every student in our school set a goal for themselves um, based on their MAP scores um, from fall. So the students took this test, we looked at their scores, we looked at what MAP projected to be their score, and then we met with every student individually. And we just asked them, does this look like something you can do? Would you like to shoot higher? And we just encouraged them to um, set something that was realistic, but then we also asked them to tell us how they were going to do it. We gave some examples and some suggestions for the kiddos that were a little stuck, things like reading extra at home or maybe reading to a favorite pet or a sibling. Um, even practicing things like reading the back of the cereal box was a suggestion some kiddos had. Um, then we told them that we are going to revisit this after Christmas when we take our second MAP test, our winter test, and we're going to see whether or not we met our goal. We also asked students to take it home and have parents look at it and sign it and kind of just get on board with us and send it back. Goal setting just makes you want to finish up those goals. It doesn't make you want to not accomplish them. And it also makes you do better because you know that whenever you're doing something and you could do better, you want to push yourself to that limit. 
week. When meeting with the students, we are using their K-Prep scores from last year and then their MAP predictions for this year. We've talked about ways for students to increase their scores as well as to maintain their scores if they are at Distinguished. We talk about specific strategies that are going to help those students such as Compass Learning, Reflex, slash and trash and even things like going back into the text to find their answers. We are also meeting with the students during winter to see if those student scores are increasing for their MAP goal. We are sure that this goal setting is going to help their growth and we look forward to seeing those results. My goal is to be distinguished in math and reading. I'm going to do my homework, uh, read 20 minutes a night, and get on reflex. I'm really excited for goal setting because it helps me prepare for my life and it helps you improve to get distinguished on K-Prep all A's and to reach reflex 100% every year. It's really fun for me uh, and very insightful to get into the classroom and um, goal set with the kids because uh, they really do want to do their best and when you sit down with them and you explain that goals are to make yourself better and then you talk about where they're at and where they want to be uh, and then the ways, the strategies to use to get them there, it, it really, uh, I believe, helps focus the kids on what they're doing. My goals are to get a, um, all distinguished on K-Prep and to do as the best as I can do on MAP. We go over all the novice, apprentice, proficient, distinguished, and we let the kids take ownership and they select their goals. And we just kind of guide them on, you know, maybe maybe that's a little too high or maybe not. Maybe you can do better. But we, we also focus on MAP growth because so many of our students are below grade level. So we really want to focus on keep getting better every single day. Every day you come to school, let's learn, let's get better. That, that's our number one thing. Sitting down with someone for goal setting makes you realize like your responsibility and your testing and it makes you realize that your responsibility is to do good on these tests and to grow and be better. Like, it helps me know like like if I'm like not doing good in a, so, in a certain area then like it's pushing me to do even better. In the past, um, we would do one-on-one -on -one goal setting with our sophomores and our juniors after they took the practice ACT, and our teachers th felt that it would be more beneficial to do the goal setting within the classroom. Um, so when they have science and math and English, they will do goal setting based on their practice ACT scores this year within those classrooms. Uh, Ms. Slavin, who is our transition readiness coach, she has worked with our teachers to provide them with a lesson plan um, on ways to develop goal setting strategies. Um, students are gonna look at their CERT test, which is the practice ACT. They will receive scores in math English, reading, and science. And we do have a computer program that will also help students with tutorials, um, lesson plans to help guide them and grow when we take the next practice ACT in the winter. Um, and then they'll take the real ACT in the spring and March. Also, our freshmen um, are all taking the MAP test this year because it gives us very good data um, for our teachers to guide their instructional practices and to individualize um, students' learning. If we give a test and we don't talk about the results, they don't have ownership in it. Um, I think it's important to let the kids know where they stand and, and most importantly, what gaps they may have if they've not met certain standards or mastered certain standards. But when you really show them, this is the content you don't understand or you've not mastered yet and we want to help you get there. There's more buy-in in it and they take more ownership and I think that um, they appreciate that more than just talking about scores. I look forward to goal setting because um, it's a way to keep pushing yourself. With our new accountability system, I always call this an equal opportunity system for all of our schools. We can't always control who's always going to be proficient. We can't always control uh, who's going to uh, meet every separate academic indicator to the proficient level, but we can determine that each kid has an opportunity to grow and learn to the highest levels. Uh, we can take ownership in that process. We want the students to take ownership in that process. Parents, students, teachers, uh, faculty, we need every person uh, to, to be helpful in this process so every student can grow and achieve at high levels. Uh, thank you for being a part of this process. 
Uh, thank you for being part of year three of goal setting at Hardin County Schools, and thank you for making a difference.